do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let us solve next question question number 3 2015 generally advanced physics paper 1 so let us solve question number 3 students let us solve the question number 3 of the paper 1 the question says two identical uniform disc roll without slipping these are the two disc over here rolls without slipping on two different surfaces ab ab is this one cd is this one are shown in figure starting at a and c with linear velocity here it is v1 which is 3 meter per second given and here v2 not given with v1 v2 respectively and always remain in contact with the surface if they reach b and d this one will reach b and this one will reach d with the same linear velocity same speed same speed but this is not v1 this same speed v1 is this then v2 is how much so they reach here with same linear speed is given that means uh, the question is that uh, this one this one a it rolls with the velocity v1 and omega 1 say angular velocity it uh, rolls down and then uh, comes out here with the speed say v here and uh, the same situation is for uh, this one so for this one this is more slope it should be like that but it's okay this b with the velocity v2 angular velocity suppose omega 2 discs are identical so mass is same and radius is r you can take and then it follows this path and this follows this path always they are in contact with the surface always they remain in contact with the surface and therefore when this uh, b will reach over here it will also have the same speed because the that is given in the question the same linear speed so now the total energy over here and total energy over here is same because uh, there is uh, the this, this level is same here and here this level is different 27 and this level is 30 this is 27 and this is 30 this is 27 and this is 30 this one is at a little bit higher height of the vertical height of 3 meter so this is a little higher height so when it uh, moves down but the base level is the same for both and it says that it comes out with same linear speed so i'll equate the total energy here and here is same if energy here and here is same then energy here and here will also be same right because if whatever energy i'll find over here and over here they will be equal and this energy is obtained from here and this energy is obtained from here the total energy here must be equal to total energy at this point so at the starting point the total energy of the disk at a and b for uh, two disk a and b the total energy at 
a will be 3 over 4 mv square mass of this i will take m and uh, v1 square it is the kinetic energy of rolling because this object is rolling for a rolling uh, disc the kinetic energy is uh, uh, rolling kinetic energy is 3 fourth of m v1 square plus it is at a height of uh, 30 meter so i'll write m g and uh, h1 i'll first put h1 then i'll search the value suppose this height is h1 this is uh, my h1 which is uh, my this value which is h1 and this value is h2 which is 27 and here it is 30. now this uh, must equal with the initial uh, energy of B which is 3 fourth of mv2 square because it's coming out with e2 plus mgh2 because the height is 2. If it is the case then uh, I'll cancel m because m is uh, cancelling and uh, I'll switch this over to here or this over to there. I'll switch this over to there then uh, I will have uh, this is H2 H1 minus H2 because uh, this is uh, so this is G of uh, H1 minus H2 this goes to this side and that goes to other side this is 3 fourth V2 square minus V1 square because this is positive so this should be greater so V2 is greater than V1 if v1 comes in 3 meter per second as uh, given in the question this comes on uh, comes with uh, 3 meter per second as given in the question this is not given that is asked what is the velocity of v2 this is uh, at a lower height and we'll see how much uh, velocity it will have now this is greater so this will be greater because this has to be positive b2 should be greater as is shown and uh, let us say this is 10 and this is h1 is 30 minus 27 this is 3 over 4 v2 square is required and v1 is uh, 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 3 3 square is 9 solving this you will get this is uh, 3 and this is 3, that will cancel out. 4, 10, that is 40, plus 9, that is 49. So, V2 square is 49 or V2 is 7 meter per second. So, the answer to this question is 7. Then, uh, some of you might be thinking that uh, how I got this 3 by 4 and V square why it is not half mv square so let me tell you about that when a body suppose any body suppose it skids or slides in case of slide if it slides then uh, if mass is m and radius is r whatever is that and it slides with velocity v then suppose that a disk under consideration then it is a uh, kinetic energy of uh, translation is half of m or and v square when uh, this is case of a translational motion when case of a only rotational motion of a disc only rotation pure rotation of this pure translation pure rotation rotation only the kinetic energy of rotation is uh, half of i omega square and a half of i i is uh, for a disc about this is rotating about this axis passing through center and uh, perpendicular to its plane because when it rolls like that the axis is perpendicular to the plane and passing through center this is uh, half m r square into omega square this i is half m r square this is uh, one fourth uh, m r square omega square 
so this is uh, at a, at any point uh, here or uh, at the periphery the linear velocity will be v equals to omega r <coughs> At the periphery, v equals to omega r. If I put v equals to omega r here, then this will be half m or uh, one fourth m v square. So, total kinetic energy due to because in rolling, uh, we are concerned with the rolling. Rolling is a translation plus rotation. So kinetic energy in case of a rolling object is the kinetic energy due to translation plus kinetic energy due to rotation. If I add this to kinetic energy, then what I will have? The kinetic energy in rolling is the sum of that I've got half mv square and uh, plus one fourth m v square this is uh, I will take 4 common this is uh, 2 m v square plus 1 m v square that is 3 over 4 m v square so kinetic energy of rolling is this this is only for disk because we have considered we have put the moment of inertia of the disk if a cylinder also rolls on cylinder then also it is uh, uh, 3 fourth uh, m square but for different uh, rolling objects it will be different so this is the case therefore we took uh, kinetic energy of rolling as uh, 3 fourth and put that value in the expression here so that is why it is required okay so the answer to this question finally we got seven seven is the answer to this question so answer to this question is seven okay thank you